Sorry, everybody, for forgetting to do two cards. Uh, so, psych. <laughs> so, the two cards I uh, forgot to mention, one was Yorvith Meditation, Elf Officer, Force Two Units to Duel Each Other. This card is really cool. Uh, if The way to get maximum value of this card is to pick cards that follow the Fibonacci sequence. That is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and 89. Now, 89 and 55 are really unrealistic. To see in Gwent, they are possible. If you do, if you look at the full spectrum of val like values you can get from this, on average you're going to in a game get between mm, 15 to 20 points of value out of the card, which is really good. It makes this card consistently great. Um, the only bad situation is if you have to play it on an empty board, which is unlikely. You wouldn't want to play this card on an empty board. You could probably get it out pretty easily. It with Squiotel, you have lots of options to do that. This card's going to see a lot of play, not just because it's fun, but because it's consistently really strong. Now, the goal is you pick the weaker unit first, and then you make it duel the, bi uh, the bigger unit. That way, the weaker unit knocks it down, and the big unit becomes small enough to knock the other one, and they keep fighting until they get really low, one really low unit remains. I recommend looking at some math charts. They posted a bajillion of them on Reddit to help you guys. Um, I might put a link of, to one in the description. Okay, the other card I forgot to mention was Nilfgaard, Nilfgaardian Gate. Um, I forgot to mention it because it is a gate card and it looks almost identical to the neutral gate. So it's a tactic special, play a bronze or silver officer from your deck and boost it by two. Works in the, um, officer archetype and because it can pull silver cards from your deck it's basically a stronger reinforcement um, this card will definitely see some play uh, and that's it those are the two cards i forgot to mention that i know of hope you guys enjoyed